subway and subway and hollow. I'm so gangster with it, black rag, gangster fitted, tattooed from the land of where the man say the gangsters did it. They say P5, yeah, your buck banks did it. They say me, Roddy Corn, who you think did it? Home Harlem shake, nope, I don't snap fingers, nope. I spit club bangers, I clap it gang bangers. Uh, yeah, I do it for the big Thanks bosses, really big bosses, young Jeezy's getting for you. And I'm on the west side of the building of peace, South Phoenix, Arizona, you know what I'm saying? We are officially in the industry, thanks to your boy, of what I've been through to get here, you know, through all the drama, lifestyle, the, the family, fucked up, you know, the family being, you know, fucked up, um, you know, things like that, it really, I appreciate everything that comes to me right now, you know what I'm saying, up to this point, everything's been perfect for your boy, so. Um, it, it, you know, I started off real small, you know what I'm saying, I started off doing little local talent shows here and there. But I had called a bit in jail, you know, I did like three and a half years. And when I got out of there, I was like right in there, when I got out, that's when I really started attacking the crowd from there. So, it's just been like, it's, it's hard to come out of Arizona, man, because no, no, the industry's not looking at Arizona that way. So now, you know, finally there's a voice that's out that we can actually get people to go down there and start a couple people. I'm happy to be the leader of that train. I think it's a wing style, bro. I don't know. It's just really just like, I think I'm gonna set a trend for, for Arizona. You know, I don't want everybody to think that Arizona rap don't sound like me, but this is what I sound like. So, I mean, Arizona don't have a sound. Like, it's, you know, we, we right in between the South, you know, Texas, and right in between the West, Cali. So it's like, you can go either way with it, kind of like the Southwest type of area, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't have a beach, we have the coast, we just the West, you know, the Wild West. So, you know, my lifestyle is West. West Coast. I just talk about where I live. You know what I'm saying? So what I've been through and the experience I've seen. And I'm never gonna really change the person I am, but as my life changed, y'all gonna hear me grow as an artist and not talk about the same thing that I made here on my last album. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, the period. I just talk about what I'm going through. I'm always gonna remember, but I'm always gonna talk about what I'm going through. So So when I start, you know, going central page with uh Beyonce little sister, somebody all this popcorn shit that's coming out, you know what I'm saying? You know, I have to say what names everybody know what I'm talking about. You know, all this bullshit that's coming out. Like I said, you know, you got you got to set your own lane. It doesn't affect me anyway, because whoever hears my albums, they can't say nothing bad about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm setting my own lane. Like you got rappers that's coming out sitting on lanes. You got the Kanye's and the 50s and the um, the, the Jay Z's, you know, the Luda's, everybody that's coming out sitting on, they don't always go platinum. T.I., they don't always go platinum, you know what I'm saying? Because it's setting their own. That's why Jeezy, you know, hip hop's dead. Like they're trying to say, but Jeezy is something with platinum, you know what I'm saying? So still, once you get that love and support, man, you make real music and shit like that, you keep that real rap alive. Instead of, instead of these niggas getting signed for one single so you never hear from them again. You know, it's just, it's whatever, so I'm, I'm in that, definitely in that category. My album is crazy, you know what I'm saying? You can catch your Romel Rose on the shopping spree. Don't have to ask for which she get what she needs. She don't mess with no cats, so please have some cheese. Oops, my fault, she only mess with celebrities. What up everybody, it's your boy Steph Jones, one of the newest signees of Disturbing the Peace, Death Jam, Disturbing the Peace all day every day, street star for you. Um, I am what you would call a all around artist, I'm an artist period, I'm not just a singer, but I'm a lyricist, I write, I compose, I play, I play the guitar, piano, I just try to get into it, I try to make the song a complete song, a real good feel good song in this industry. I know I'm giving you more than what you asked for, but that's what you get. You ask me a question, I'm gonna tell you about 10,000 subjects, and then you're gonna have to ask me no more questions. And then we can edit later if you want to. Like I said, you don't have to edit. Um, Steph Jones, I'm just a southern boy, born in Houston, raised in Missouri City. 
Came out to LA, been back and forth between LA and New York. Got signed by Luda in January. Uh, the name of my album was called Mr. Ordinary. The name of my first single was called Mr. Ordinary. We'll be hitting radio waves in the next couple of weeks. Uh, right now, we just uh, me, Luda, Chris, Chingy, and Small World. We just shot uh, actually my first video, which was called Celebrity Chick in LA. It's coming, brother. It's coming. You can feel it. Can't you feel it? Look at my aura. Ain't it like pink and purple and all them different colors? I'm burning up like flames, your boy Steph Jones. Surprise before I get signed. Um, actually, the actual process, I was uh, in jail. I was in a French prison for 25 months, and that was the most random thing that you probably heard all day. But, um, yeah, I was over there, and I decided, and out of everything that I, that I wanted to do, I never really put 100% into anything. And while I was in there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to really focus on my music. So. You make it rain now. I think I lost the blood You catch your own Melrose on her shopping spree hey. Don't have to ask for which you get what you need hey. Young Mac, Fleet Wu and Mac, then get it right, Sean Jay Holland, me one half for the group Feel them all uh, I'll be the George 229 Now what it is, what's it? Feel them all Feel them all, feel them all Right now we at a uh, We at the crossroads uh, Uncle Charles I miss my own. <laughs> a finger point ass nigga, so we just say that. Right now, my nigga, shout out to Chevy P. He doing this thing, he down in Miami, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the MIA, everybody down there, Ross Creek, Triple C, what's up, gonna play? Hey, they chilling. I'm doing my album too. So, expect the album from Chevy P, which you need to go get, don't bootleg. Expect the album from Sean J, which you better go get in that bootleg. And, and you know what I'm saying, we gonna play it by ear. I don't know neither. <laughs> I ain't seen smoking mine. He can have an afro right now. <laughs> yeah. I hope you all right. I pray for one every day. But you know, certain things happen, like I said. That ain't y'all motherfucking business. Why the fuck is y'all worried about any motherfucking way? Big ass right? niggas. I'm one of the niggas you can't bootleg, you know what I'm saying? They don't already don't know how to promote us, you know what I'm saying? We be in and out of jail all the motherfucking time. I'm tired of everybody asking me, what film are I driving? Why y'all don't drive? I be wanting to drive every month. I want to drive an album every month. That's what I be wanting to do. I can keep up like that, you know what I'm saying? But they keep you in a little hole. Put you in a little hole. Your ass just be sitting on that paperwork. You know what paperwork is? Paperwork is what paper. P. Diddy. What's going on, Diddy? I heard somebody say Diddy was a paper gangster. That's the bad kind. The rest of the shit just trickled down. The real gangster shit ain't violent at all. This is a corporate meeting over a couple million and shit like that. They just done fucked somebody, extorted somebody up. That'd be the real shit. We don't die, we multiply. Cause it's strength in numbers, baby. So I brought some of my family members here today to talk to y'all about celebrity chicks. So Ching Ling, why don't you go ahead and start this thing off for her? What up? From the moment she wake up, so Hollywood putting on the makeup. Can't save her, but it's always a food her to keep her caked up. You act the chick out, type to say, where you gonna take her? It's either to Vegas or Canada.